Welcome back, quick tutorial here in desktop because it's a nice quick topic. When you're creating worlds, you may find that uh, in loading into those worlds, you fall through the ground. And there's a quick tip that can help resolve this inside the inspector. I'll go ahead and show you where it is and then we'll get started tweaking it. So with a developer tooltip, open up the inspector, go to the root of the world, look for controllers, locomotion modules, walk, run with climbing, find physical locomotion, which is this component here, and scroll down till you find the initialization delays and initialization collider root settings. These three settings control how the initialization of the physical locomotion, or in other words, the initialization of gravity, um, happens within a world. A world will wait up to the min initialization delay time here before it will uh, start trying to find um, a collider that will signal to the locomotion module that uh, it's okay to enable and turn on gravity. This can be useful if you have a little bit of time before one of those colliders are available. You could, hey, put a, a higher number up here, maybe you know, 30 seconds. I wouldn't suggest that much, but you could go all the way up to 30 seconds if you wanted people to wait. Um, max initialization delay is the maximum amount of time it will um, continue attempting to try and find that initialization uh, collider. If it goes above this time, it'll just go, hey, we're just going to, you know, kick in gravity anyway. And then there's also initialization collider root. If this is not specified, then between the min and the max here, any um, character collider that appears beneath you um, will count any character collider. Um, so it could be a character collider somewhere else in the map vertically, or it could be the correct character collider you don't know. If you set the initialization collider root to a uh, certain slot, then um, it will only initialize the, um, the gravity or the collision if during this window between min and max, it finds a collider that is part of this root. So let's say you had uh, a spawn room that had a bunch of character colliders in it. You could put that spawn room into initialization collider root, and then any collider that is found underneath that if that's found during this initialization setup, which is between min and max, um, then it would be like, yep, we have found the thing that you want to collide with first, and it would kick in that. So I do recommend uh, trying those out. I'll put a formal sort of definition of the, the greater than and less than, so you understand when exactly these two variables come into play, just in case it helps in um, written form.